Good evening, my name's Cody Clarkson and you're watching Weasel News. This week, the Cumberdow Charity Foundation, commonly known as the CCF, donated $10 million to the San Andreas Emergency Services. Weasel News was there when the donation was made. Hello, my name is Hubert Cumberdow. I am the chairman and founder of the Cumberdow Charity Foundation, commonly known as the CCF. I'm standing here today with the Deputy Director of Emergency Services, and I'm looking today to make a donation to the Pillbox Medical Center of quite a large sum to help out with their research here where it can be helpful. I'm donating this money today to Pillbox Medical Center to hopefully do some good in the world and that they can try and make a difference. I encourage all those and anyone else who has money to spare to also do the same and follow in my footsteps to try and make a bit of a difference. We're so privileged of receiving this check and how it will benefit the San Andreas Emergency Services to a large degree. Um, all the notions that we do receive, they do go to a great cause of figuring a way to cure a, var a variety of different cancers and it saves a large number of lives yearly. While at the hospital, Mr. Cumberdow met with little Jimmy, one of the many hospital patients whose treatment can now continue thanks to the generous donation. Wow, thanks Mr. Cumberdow, you helped me up so much. Yes, I mean, there is some darkness in the world and it is always good to do some good in the world as well, you know? You're my big way of sunshine, Mr. Cumberdell. I love you so much, like the father I never had. Well, little Jimmy, you're like the son I never had. I love you. Oh, thanks, Mr. Cumberdell. You're welcome, little Jimmy. Just as Mr. Cumberdell helped the short staff paramedics get this man from the ambulance to the operating table, Many people know the Cumberdown Charity Foundation across Los Santos for their great works. Here's what a passerby had to say. I've seen the Cumberdale Charity Foundation do so many good things in this city. I've seen them help old ladies across the road, help people take their groceries out to their car. I've seen them lend money to people. They're just such great people, honestly. Weasel News will be right back after the break. Welcome back. This week, our reporter Mike Martini explored the world of hunting. Here's the story. I'm Mike Martini from Weasel News and today I've been invited to go hunting, which is evidently quite dangerous as you can see from this dead phoenix officer next to me. Join me as we hunt Cassidy Trail. If you think um, hunting is just about going to the forest and killing an animal, uh, you're definitely wrong. Um, you don't know much about hunting if you do. So pretty much, um, you need to ask yourself a lot of questions before um, going hunting. Just like, um, you need to plan your hunt. Why are you going there? What are you hunting for? Are you hunting in the dark? You know, you got to ask a lot of questions because this is quite dangerous out here. You know, um, I think one of my mates a few days ago got eaten by a cougar and all I could do is watch and watch and he just got slaughtered by that cougar. But, you know, I couldn't do anything. Um, yeah, so you really need to organize your, your hunting and you need to be responsible and sensible with it as well. Um, it's, not, it's, not, it's not an easy task. Overall, it was a very fun day out with appearing to throw some people off a bridge. It's great to see them getting into the spirit, along with many other strange things with people following coyotes with knives. But overall, the best part was getting out into nature, experiencing. I'm Mike Martini, reporting for Weasel News. Weasel News will be right back after the break. Welcome back. 
The beginning of the week saw the trial of three of the De Rossi crime family members as referred to by the court. The court found the members guilty on several charges. And although the maximum sentencing could have been seven days in prison, all three of the members received only 12 hours imprisonment and a varying degree of fines totaling only $6 million. The leader of the De Rossi's and two other members were arrested after police raided several compounds, seizing over $60 million worth of illegal firearms and other drugs and contraband. The public is outraged over the prosecution's poor handling of the case, and with over $60 million worth of illegal contraband, that only $6 million total worth of fines and barely 72 hours imprisonment for each person were issued. It's clear that the bust had very little effect on the Drossi crime family and their activities, with literally last night the Drossis being involved in a massive shootout in the Polito Bay area. Clearly, the threat of another spy within their midst does not worry them. That's it for Weasel News this week. I'm Cody Clarkson. Thank you for watching. Good night.